I'm Jim Barry. All right, the Dolphins hope to defy the odds and steal a win tonight against the Texans. Kim Camper is live in Houston with the Dolphins blueprint for an upset win. Bo, how do they do it with no Kenny Stills, no Albert Wilson? Is this offense going to change? And if so, how? Well, they're, they're not going to change this offense. They're obviously going to try to run the football and make that be a focal point of their offense, but they've got to throw the football. No Albert Wilson, no Kenny Stills. They've taken Leontay Carew off of the uh, – uh, and put him on the regular roster. I expect him to play, but it's going to be the other receivers. Devontae Parker's going to play. Uh, Jakeem Grant's going to have to help you out. Danny Amendola, they're going to get a, a big dose of that. And also Kenyon Drake is a guy that maybe they'll put out wide and use him as a receiver, but yeah. they're, they're sorely depleted there. Uh, and then that offensive line, they're certainly going to have their hands full. So um, it's going to be a big, big test for this Dolphin offense. There's no doubt about that. Bo, quickly, how does that Dolphin defense rebound from that awful Sunday against Detroit and get back to forcing turnovers? Yeah. Well, I, Jim, I think they've got to just pay attention to details. You know, if, you, if you've got a, you got a two-gap a guy, you two-gap a guy. You can't have separation front and back at the line of scrimmage, and that's what happened last week. Play discipline, play your job, and, you know, you've got to put pressure on the quarterback. Pressure for the quarterback for this Dolphin football team so far in the season has led, has led to turnovers on the backside. Mm -hmm. If they get good pressure up front, that will help the guys in the secondary make some plays. But they've got, to turn, they've, got to, they've got to take the football away from this Houston team, and they've got to find a way to move the chains and keep that offense on their sideline, Jim. Well.